Okay, so Celsius is bankrupt, but somehow Celsius is up 4,000% in the last two months. How the heck did this happen? Well, insert short squeeze. Now, there is a catch. I want to talk about this in full in this video. Number one thing here, I am not invested in Celsius at the moment, nor do I plan to be because of the catch that I'm going to get to at the end of this video. And quite frankly, I didn't get in early enough to catch this wave. At least that's my opinion. Now, we shall see. I mean, many, many people are jumping on the bandwagon. I want to break it down for you, give you all the information you need to know, and then at least you have all of that at your disposal when you decide to uh, do whatever you're going to do with Celsius. May maybe nothing, maybe trying to catch a wave, and that way uh, you've got all the information you need. So let's jump in here, and uh, it's fascinating nonetheless, right? It's kind of like the Terra Luna situation. Uh, you know, a lot of people are trying to come back into Luna, prop up the price with the Luna burns. Listen, if that is what you're into, go fu go full at it. I've just planned on uh, really focusing in on blue chip assets for the most part right now in cryptocurrency. But Celsius Network is bankrupt, and it but it's still up four thousand percent in the last two months. So let me go over here first. Celsius currently ranked number sixty three. It's up forty eight percent on the day. Now, this is what the one-day chart looks like, but let me show you the seven-day. Look at this big rise. I mean, insane. This is what happened yesterday. Here's the one month, and here's the three month. You can kind of see how this uh, started, okay? Started way back in late July. We started to see some volume come in, okay? But massive amounts of volume here recently uh, over the past four or five days. Now, going back to the article. Crypto lending platform Celsius has an approximately $1.2 billion gap in its balance sheet. They're going bankrupt. Still, Celsius Network native utility token Cell has soared in valuation by over 4,100% in the last two months, reaching around $3.93. In fact, it actually got a little bit higher than that recently, up near $4.00 just today okay however that's compared to a mid-june bottom of nine cents now in comparison top coins like bitcoin and ethereum rallied 40 percent and 130 percent in that same time period that two-month time frame pretty crazy eth is rose 130 uh, percent in that same time frame now technically the price rally made sell an ex uh, an uh, an excessively valued token in early August when its relative strength index crossed above the, the 70 threshold. However, we can see here that there was one piece of news outside of the short squeeze that maybe had some people coming into it. Reuters reported that Ripple, of course, the uh, company behind XRP, is interested in Celsius assets, but there's no confirmation yet from either companies. Celsius has halted withdrawals from the platform since June and has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which will enable them gradually to pay back what they owe. That tweet came out on the 10th. But then enter the short squeeze. So an army of retail traders also appears to be behind Cell's giant upside push in the last two months. There's no doubt it's happening. We're going to take you over to Twitter and show you a little bit of uh, the inside behind that as well. In just a second, some traders have organized a short squeeze to limit sales downside prospects. A short squeeze is when an asset's price rises suddenly, forcing short sellers to buy back the asset at a higher price to close their positions. That's what causes the big run up on the chart. So this is Wall Street Bet's crypto mod. He says, BTC is very choppy, so my focus is on altcoins and sell. I'd like BTC to hold 22K for bullish bias. Sell wants breakout again. I am looking to buy more above the $2.60 mark with sell short squeeze army behind it. Could sell pump to $3 next. And it has done that. And in fact, it's already gotten all the way to $4. Now, it is possible to create a short squeeze because of sales lowering circulating supply, primarily due to the freeze on Celsius network token transfers. Uh, interestingly, FTX had bought about 5.1 million sell tokens on August 13th, approximately 90% of the all, all the token circulation across exchanges. Meanwhile, the amount of open short positions on the exchange was around 2.66 million sell versus the monthly high of $2.96 2, 2 million sell on August 11th. In other words, in layman's terms, short traders have closed about 300,000 sell positions in just two days. Now, what's next for Celsius token? 
Here's the thing. Short squeezes are fun when they last, right? But they usually don't last very long. At least that's what history shows us. Such prospects put sell at risks of facing extreme correction in the coming weeks or months. As said, the token is already overbought, which further adds up to the downside outlook. Now, listen, many, many people made life-changing money with AMC and GameStop, right? And some of these other plays in the stock market, but they don't last forever. Even though some people are still in them, they have come back down, at least in some cases. Now, there are cases where it could last a little while. And for anybody who's in Celsius, I hope this is a case for you, but I just want to bring you the information, get you up to speed on why Celsius is booming and soaring right now. And let's go over here and see what they're saying on Twitter. So this hashtag Celsius short squeeze, okay, is been trending. Look at this. It's trending on Twitter. This was just 10 hours ago. Check this out though. This was 22 hours ago, late last, uh, or uh, midday yesterday. Total liquidations in the last 24 hours from this screen grab yesterday, $1.17 million wrecked, meaning uh, liquidations, forced liquidations on Celsius. And look at this, just in that past hour, when he tweeted this 22 hours ago, half a million wrecked in the last hour, probably nothing. So this is a thing. We want to talk about it. And I want to give you full transparency and disclosure. I'm not invested in Celsius. Uh, right now. Now, if something shifts or changes, I'll talk about it. Uh, but if Ripple comes in and buys up their assets, that'll be something else we'll have to bring to you on the channel. Of course, we covered uh, the downfall of Celsius and what happened. Uh, so that's what we've got for you here. That's what's going on with Celsius. That's why it's up like crazy right now. And uh, take that for what you will. Let me know down in the comments what you think about all this, what your feelings on it, and uh, maybe even what your plans are. That'd be cool too, just to get some insight from everybody. So thanks so much for popping in. Appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one.